This is a newborn kitten I got to hold at the rescue right here. So cute. Oh, and then there's our, oh, there's a video of them. You kind of see this stuff. Oh my God. Okay, hold on. When we started dating, Rick was insistent that in order for us to survive, we had to have a shared hobby. I thought it was very important that um, we have something to talk about. We have a, a shared interest and we have a communication, something that we can work together over. In 2009, I was diagnosed with MS. Um, and it, it really affected my um, fatigue and energy levels. And then I started walking real funny. I used to be very physically fit. I used to climb cell towers and repair, you know, change out a light bulb at 200 feet in the air. Um, but now, not so much. <laughs> The hobby that we have for the last two years, this past September, has been that we weekly on the weekends go to hear Kitty Kitty Rescue. And we volunteer there and help, you know, clean the litter boxes, give them food, change out their beds. Rick is the barber at the rescue. He likes to do that. Brush them nonstop. When Rick and I first started volunteering here, I'm not even kidding, within the first week, I literally told Rick I wanted to like my heart was so like, you know, I really just wanted to get a bed and come and put it here and stay here. I mean, I just, I love them. The cats are like our family. I'm so cute. Ooh. <laughs> These cats are well cared for. They're free roaming. They have humans waiting on them hand and foot, but they all would rather have a forever home, right? I mean, this is like one step on their journey. That's just why we're here taking care of them. I can feel a little bit guilty that what we do isn't really human related. What I just try to hold on to is like, we're all put here on this earth, right? By God. And that we all have like this responsibility to others and each other. God's creatures, right? Great and small. That's not just you and me. like. That's the cats, that's the dogs. And so I just choose like, that's my thing. I was a foster parent for a while. I was a school teacher. I think helping the cats, even though they really can't say it, they appreciate it just as much. Yeah. We both love cats and we both love to give and so this worked out great. As long as we can, we're going to be there at the rescue every weekend, helping them out and supporting them. I mean, his physical challenges he has right now is ma makes that a little bit harder, but we love them and like we're going nowhere. The wet food parties are not going to end. <laughs>